Ave Maria, cari telespettatori. Dearest friends, I'm sure that on many occasions you've met our Filipino brothers who come from a land characterized by an explosion of green in the midst of a very beautiful blue ocean, the Pacific, to the southeast of Asia. We've come to their country and we've had an opportunity to discover the treasures hidden here. Right now, we're in the city of Cagayan de Oro, which means treasure of gold. Not only because there's still gold here, a precious metal, but because there are other riches, the riches of the people that live here, the riches of their spiritual resources, and above all, the richness and beauty of their spiritual life, of their vocation, of their devotion to Our Lady and to St. Francis of Assisi, which moved them to welcome our religious family into the local church. Through a series of videos, a series of recordings of events, of people, of facts and of places, you will have a chance to learn more about the Philippine Islands, and above all about how the Institute of the Franciscan Friars of the Immaculate lives and works in this land, and how from the beginning of its foundation in 1990 it was able to gather abundant graces in the Philippines for many souls in search of mercy, in search of the truth and charity. We hope that through the Immaculate and through faithfulness to the gifts of God, our Lord will continue to establish his kingdom here in his great generosity to this land and these people. After Brazil and Mexico, the Philippine Islands is the nation with the third highest percentage of Catholics in the world, and the only example in Asia of a percentage over 80. The Christian roots of this country lie in the missionary activity of the Spaniards, who arrived in the Philippines in 1521. They brought with them an extraordinary love for and veneration of the Purissima, that is, Our Lady, under the title of Immaculate Conception. today is the principal patroness of the Philippines. Indeed, devotion to Our Lady plays an essential role in the faith of the Filipino people. Young and old alike call her Ina, that is, Mother, and are faithful to devotional practices such as the Holy Rosary, the month of May, processions by land and even by sea as in the case of Our Lady of Peña Francia, Naga.
It is no wonder, therefore, that the Immaculate, even from the earliest years of Casa Mariana's existence, wanted to establish the religious family of the Franciscans of the Immaculate, who belonged to her, precisely in this land. Yesterday and today. May it be an evening star. Father Gabriele Maria Pelletieri, Father Rosario Maria Daniello, and Father Carlo Maria Ielici arrived in the Philippines in 1979. Their apostolic labors were soon repaid by a rich blossoming of vocations. From this first mission, the Institute of the Franciscans of the Immaculate has continued to grow, spreading throughout the whole world to the point of becoming, in 1998, an institute of pontifical rite. A commitment to following the ideal of evangelical life has never ceased. Rather, fervent and full of vitality, enthusiasm and zeal for the salvation of souls, it continues still today in an atmosphere of inexhaustible spiritual renewal and of the joy characteristic of religious life. Inspired by this dedication, many young people discover their vocation and decide to follow the ideal of Marian Franciscan life, collaborating in the progress of our mission. After a period of discernment and formation under the guidance of priests who have many years of experience, including work among the youth, they are welcomed into our religious family. Father Alfonso Maria Bruno, Secretary General of the Institute of the Franciscan Friars of the Immaculate, being assigned to receive the religious vows of two of our fellow brothers, provided an opportunity to visit our Philippine mission. Before the profession ceremony, Father Alfonso and the friar who accompanied him received a warm welcome with joy and smiles on the part of the brothers and moments of fraternity. Welcome to our community, Father Alphonse and Friar Zedo. <laughs> so, uh, dear brothers, I'm very happy uh, to meet you here. I'm coming from Roma, so I have a gift for you because this is the first Marian house. I'm living always with the Filipino brothers, but I never have been here. So I have a gift, I have greetings by this personage. If you can help me to open the gift. For every house, my house in Philippines, there is a curious sense, Pope John Paul II and John 23 and Pope Francis. 
and for everybody the same as image. Okay? Uh, I don't know if you know this. Ecco! No! The celebration over which Father Alfonso presided was held in the Shrine of Mary Corredemptrix in Talamban. Father Alfonso entrusted the two brothers called to this high witness to Our Lady of Fatima, and then, amid the general emotion and joy of those present, he received their solemn perpetual vows. During his homily, Father Alfonso reminded us how consecrated life is a service of love and fidelity to the Church, which is realized above all through childlike obedience to the Pope, the Vicar of Christ on earth. Ave Maria, first of all, welcome to the Philippine Islands. I'm Father Dolindo. I've been elected Father Guardian of this community, the Marian House of Our Lady Corredemptum. We are in the municipal of Talamban, in the state of Cebu. It is about four kilometers from the city of Cebu. There are three priests in the house. We help in the parish church, where the parish priest calls upon us every now and then to assist with the apostolic activity of the church. If I'm not mistaken, it was the 16th of October 2013 that there was a great earthquake here, and as well as in Cebu. Our church suffered some cracks, some large, some small. 
Thanks be to God and to Our Lady Corredemptrix, the church wasn't hit as badly as some of the other churches nearby. We are currently trying to make repairs. Recently in our church, we've had the solemn professions of some of our brothers, which were received by our Secretary General, Father Alfonso Bruno, who came from Italy on the 10th of May for the event. He made various visits and held several spiritual meetings with our brothers. Above all, he encouraged us in our perseverance and faithfulness. The Chapel of Eucharistic Adoration is part of our activity here. Many people come to participate in the adoration. We also help with the MIM groups, Third Order Adults and also the youth. Under our church, there is a large meeting room where we hold the monthly meetings. With regard to where we live, here one sees only the church, which is large. Unfortunately, because of lack of funds, we still don't have a proper friary where the friars can live and sleep. However, thanks be to God, we do have a simple dwelling made of light materials where everyone has his own room. Sono Padre Massimiliano Maria Stefano Trimoccia e siamo qui nella casa madre delle delegazioni filippine dei frati francescani dell'Immacolata. I'm Father Maximilian Mary Stephen Trimoccia and we are here in the mother house of the Philippine delegation of the Franciscan Friars of the Immaculate. This house was constructed in 1993 and was blessed by His Eminence Ricardo Cardinal Vidal on the 13th of November 1994. The community entered the house on the 15th of August of the same year, 1994. Like every community of the Franciscan Friars of the Immaculate, our life is guided by a common schedule of prayer, work and penance, all for the glory of God and of the Immaculate. This house has been assigned to receive the young men who come to the community as aspirants, 
in search of an experience of life lived according to the example of St. Maximilian Mary Colby. At present, there are about ten young men here who have come from all over the Philippines. The community serves the people who live near the friary through the ministry of the priesthood, with Holy Mass on Sundays, confession, visits to the sick, and also through the celebration of Mass in a local chapel. Attraverso i ministeri dei sacerdoti, come la Santa Messa Domenicale, le confessioni, la visita ai malati, e anche celebrando la Messa della Cappella del locale. Come San Francesco e San Massimiliano Maria Colbe. Like St. Francis and St. Maximilian Colby, the friars and the young men who live in this house live by means of the charity of the people, trusting in the providence of the Immaculate. They are happy to give all to all without reservation for the glory of God and of His Immaculate Mother. Thank you, Ave Maria. Grazie, Ave Maria. Thank you.